Hi guys, welcome to another video. Hope you're all keeping well. Now for this video, I want to talk about a horror movie that I watched here just last night on Tubby TV. Now, um, the movie was made in 2023 and it stars Annalyn McCord and Ted Raimi. It was directed by Anthony C. Ferrant and that movie is called Dante's Hotel. Now, um, as you can see, um, I haven't got a copy of the actual Blu-ray um, with me. I don't think it's been released yet on Blu-ray, but I've just put the uh, the promo poster up there, as you can see. Uh, and I'll just uh, talk about the movie, like uh, giving me thoughts on the storyline as a whole, yeah. Okay then, guys, so I've got the synopsis see it anyway, just written the synopsis down. And once I've read you the synopsis, I'll go on to talk about it, as I say, and give, give you a rating what I thought of the movie as a whole, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so Dante's Hotel, it's made in 2023. Uh, now, um, when an unknown asylum preys on a haunted hotel's patrons, um, an event planner teams up with a mysterious tenant whose dark past is the key to freeing the cursed hotel. So that's the uh, that's the synopsis, guys, of um, uh, Dante's, Dante's uh, Hotel. Okay then, guys, uh, on to my thoughts now uh, on the movie as a whole. Yeah, I really enjoyed it up until that awful dodgy ending but i'm not upset on that for the moment real good haunted a uh, haunted hotel movie if you like movies like the shining you know creepy hotels like that i think you might derive a lot of pleasure from dante's hotel a uh, great performance by the main protagonist um i'm unfamiliar with this actress uh, annalyn mccord who plays um goldie stanton who's the event planner so you've got, got to get the hotel ready and after this big new new year's eve party ball you know and a lovely cinematography of the hotel big massive hotel in america you know uh, but it's it harbors a very very dark secret in the form of this uh, uh, mysterious entity uh, it's a cross between like the grim reaper and father time it's actually a uh, reminiscence of the kind of char character you'd see in creep show you know the crypt keeper um great makeup and that you know and um basically what happens is when when the party gets underway you know the ball and that um this creepy a uh, a uh, figure turns up you know and what he does he goes to different guests and he he hands them like a complimentary ticket you know without a word and the the, the, the guests gleefully take it uh, but every time it does a catch to it because it signals like they're going to come to a very very gruesome end but of course they don't know that they think he's part of the hotel fun and that you know yeah like you get like halloween parties don't you and you get like people dressed up in all the regalia and that you know the monster monster gear and that they they they, they don't they don't think uh, well you wouldn't would you if you went to a, a ball and like you think it was somebody in fancy dress they don't they don't think like it could be an entity haunting the hotel but uh, oh yes some great gory kills in this guys and that you know it's a um, very well paced movie and as i say if you like movies like um like the shining and that you know um yeah i think you will enjoy this one um and then you've got like the subplot you've got like this um female police detective she wants to um because like it starts off she's brought into it a fella goes onto the roof and that you know uh, and he gets pushed off by this entity, although you don't actually see it. If you have a look at the security cameras, you don't see the entity pushing them off the roof. So she's brought in this uh, female detective to investigate and uh, against her boss's wishes. He doesn't want it in he doesn't want it wasting her time investigating the hotel because it gets a lot of mumbo jumbo and that. But she defies him, she's a bit of a rebel and she go you know, she's sort of like she was she's determined to get to the bottom of it. And you've got like this other character who lives on who, who's took residence up on, on the upper floors of the hotel, uh, played by um it's a Judd Nelson. Uh, Judd Nelson, yeah. He plays this guy called Breyer. He's sort of like uh, in residence in the hotel because like he's got a dark secret as well because uh, what happened like many, many years ago when he was a young man, his parents were killed mysteriously in, in the lobby of the hotel and when the cops burst in, they find him with the axe and that, you know, holding the axe. But there's something more to it doesn't necessarily you don't really know if he's killed his parents or something more to it guys i won't go into too much detail i'll let i'll let you see the film for yourself so you've got that aspect and that he's very very good and that you know um and of course he gets all the blame for the murders and that you know but uh yeah uh, yeah i enjoyed it and that you know he had a blast with it until that that awful ending well that's just my opinion you guys might like it it just went a little bit downhill for me guys and i hate that i hate it when that happens in a horror movie you're enjoying it and that you know and uh, the ending let it, it goes right down in your estimation you know it did just tweak the ending a little bit made it a little bit more sort of like um made it you know consistent with the, the general movie um you know i think i would have uh, waited for it to come out on blu-ray and i actually added it to my collection because i love i love i love uh, movies set in haunted hotels and as i said about the shining and that you know 
real creepy atmosphere and that, you know, and uh, this entity, like, it's just got no aim. It just picks on anyone, basically, and that just hands them the tickets and that, you know. And once they, they, they take, take the tickets, <laughs> they're, they're doomed and that, you know. As I say, some pretty gory kills and that, you know, bodies getting chopped in half, you know, mutilated and that, you know. So if you like your gore, uh, you know, you'll, you'll appreciate those scenes and that, you know. But you don't know when this entity is going to pop up. And like, as I say, it reminds me of the entity at a creep show, you know, uh, the hooded, hooded, you know, the hooded, the cow and that. And you don't see its face and that. Um, but towards the end of the movie, it starts speaking. But I, I don't want to give away too much of the ending, guys. I'll let you, I'll let you see that for yourselves. But it's just a shame, like, because it was a great movie. I was, really, I really got engrossed in it, and that you know, wonder what was going to happen next, and that you know, because it's supposed to appear every twelve years. It's like, it's like the entity is like a cross between Father Time and the Grim Reaper, you know. So it's quite unusual in that respect. Uh, but it just it goes, yeah, as I say, like um, kills a. Uh, guests indiscriminately and they're all partying like in in the main hallway they're, they're living there up and like partying and that you know and they just don't know what's going on and then you've got the manager the hotel manager played by ted Raimi. he's great in it as well because he's sort of like he wants everything perfect before the party starts and that you know because he gets onto the event planner make sure it's it's in tip-top shape and that so he's sort of like he's showing he's quite officious and that you know showing his authority and that so you've got him as well but it all makes for a great haunted hotel movie, guys. But just that bloody, bloody ending. Oh, God, yeah. But say no more about that. I, I won't go on too much about the ending. Uh, but on the whole, guys, it was an enjoyable movie and that. You know, just, as I say, just a pissy, that, that awful, dodgy ending. Let it down. Yeah, but that's my opinion. You know, everybody's different, aren't they? What I want, you know, one man's music, another man's poison. What I might like, you, you guys might like it and that. So if you like a little bit of humour interjected which i don't i don't really like a lot of humor interjected into me horror it's got to work and in, in this particular case i don't think it worked and I, you know but anyway i'll leave it a there guys i say i won't go on too much i won't leave the points about the ending but it's just it's just a shame like it, it, it turned out the way it did and that you know because uh, you've got like the maid as a kid and every 12 years and that it's like a cycle it reminds you a little bit of it like a cycle of murders and that repeating every few years and that you know so you've got that and that uh, which I thought was very good and that but again like it's uh, again at the end and you know it, it was a bit of a damn squib you know yeah I'd say I, it, as I say it was enjoyable up, up until up until the end and that yeah okay then guys um I'm going to give it a rating now yeah well I'm afraid like it's lost a few points guys for that end and I'm going to give a uh, Dante's Hotel I think I'll give it what I think I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Because on the whole, I did enjoy it. It was a lovely, colourful movie. Uh, great performances by the main protagonist, you know, the event planner, the manager and that, you know. And the hotel's quite creepy and that. Especially when the parts where, like, um, the entity, when it gave them tickets, laid them into this this creepy room and that, you know. There's nobody else in the room and that, you know. And, of course, the girl's all excited and that, you know. Uh, but, it, oh, it doesn't end well, guys. Once they get that ticket, once he hands that ticket to them and that, it doesn't end well, yeah. So I thought that was quite good and that, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so that, that so there you go, guys. That's the review of uh, the new horror movie, uh, Dante's Hotel. Have any of you guys seen Dante's Hotel by any chance? What did you think of it? Did you share my view about that? Uh, questionable end and leave your thoughts down below let's get a discussion going about dante's hotel uh, but yes yeah, I, hate, I hate that like you know you're enjoying a horror movie and that and you get the bloody end and letting it down you know but what can you do yeah but it was very very well very well shot movie good cinematography and i loved it i loved the um you know the the, the scene in the, in, in the main lobby with all the guests are partying and that you know little 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 known what the horror what horror was, was unfolding you know, in the hotel and that, and all the rooms and that, yeah, but, uh, yeah, and, yeah, so as I say, on the whole, I did enjoy it, okay then guys, that's it, I'll wrap the, I'll wrap the review up now, Um, yeah, so usual, you know, if you like the video, please feel free to share, subscribe, comment, and it all going well, I shall be back again very, very soon with um, another video, TTFN.